me the proper response to pain and disrespect is to set things right for the rest of your life and to never do uh, to anybody else what was done to you and to always uphold the opposite and correct thing more so than anything to even perhaps represent the complete opposite of what had happened to you to live in a way which transcends that and actively creates what is good in response to being hurt. Something that I had thought one day several years ago was that you can like be, you can be doing anything in life and then during the day somebody may treat you horribly for no reason it could be anybody they could be wearing any kind of uniform or not they could treat you poorly for no reason whatsoever and in response to that the proper response is not to get upset and then treat somebody else poorly what naturally most people do i think is when they are hurt by somebody else randomly they actually go around randomly hurting other people what you have to do is put that on your list of karma sort of that you should remedy if somebody has done something bad to you you should at least try and do something at least as good as the badness that they did to you sort of and in doing that that is how you make your own mind better and that is how you make life just a little bit more comfortable and bearable for the other people around you living is really hard i don't think that anybody almost realizes that at least they don't go around saying that i find just being and it getting yourself together and even if something hard happens to you keeping yourself together i find that to be really fucking hard i've had an unconscious chronic pain for my entire life and i think that it's something that something like this is something that probably everybody has but I've been one person that's been able to notice it. And uh, my theory this whole time has been if I could fully grasp and pinpoint what that was, if I could understand it completely, then I would be absolved of it. If I could hold that in my mind, if I could just identify it, just by fully identifying something, are you freed from it? So I did the little thing in my head, I did my little game, where you take whatever you know about it, and you just try and perform more logical statements regarding it. And you know, play around until you feel like you found your next couple moves. And, uh, what I realized was that when people see me, they think of me as a teacher. And it's not really, I don't think anything that I ever say, specifically that I am a teacher, it's just that people see me that way and that's really what I do. And my dad, when he heard about the cast about a year or two after it came out and he had watched some of the videos he told me that what i was doing was i was teaching people the coolest new thing that i knew and uh, this teaching thing being really a, a it's it's a it's so much of my identity 
it's a spiritual thing. It is a sexual thing. In the times when I have had sex, which I might even say is just one time, I, you know, I was getting up to it, kind of. That experience was profoundly teaching me. But my the reason why teaching is such an important thing to myself in my life is because when I was a child, I felt disrespected by the entire world all the time. It wasn't really acute things that much. There were a lot of acute things, but it was a chronic thing that I was a child. I felt that I understood my own abilities and I understood when I was worthy of making a decision and when I was worthy of asking somebody else for help. But other people, everybody I knew, always compared. The way they treated me was basically their own image of how they were when they were a child, which was worse. It was worse than who I was. I felt chronically that as a child I was always treated as somebody who was worse than who I was, intellectually and morally. More importantly, morally. And just in internal development and understanding in general. And when I teach intimately to people and with people, and I don't call it, I don't believe in teaching, I believe in accompanied learning. When I do that, I try to set things right. When I feel that when you teach somebody, you, that is the highest respect that you can ever pay to an individual. If they are willing to listen, this is the only currency there is. This is a human experience. To live with meaning in life means to live as a conscious integration of your entire history.